Hey guys, it's Megan, and today I'm back with another 5 ways to fill your sketchbook video. I was experiencing a little bit of art block this week, and I didn't know exactly what to draw. When that happens, one of my favorite things to do is to flip through old magazines and make a collage. So in this video, I'll be showing you 5 different collage ideas. But if you don't have magazines, don't worry, because I'll be giving you alternatives to most of the ideas that can be done with just a pencil and paper. One of my goals in my new sketchbook was to use the front and back of each page. Since I like using a lot of alcohol-based markers in my sketchbook, this is a great way to use the back of those pages. When cutting out images to use in a collage, I like to rip out all of the pages that I want to use, and then I'll go back through and cut out the images. Anything I don't use gets sorted into this 3-drawer organizer. I have a really simple system for organizing my magazine clippings, because if it was too complicated, you guys know I probably wouldn't do it. I just separate them into focal images, background images, and words. Any focal images that I want to group together, I keep in plastic bags. Using old magazines is a great way to cure art block. Another great way to cure art block is by signing up for today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with over 25,000 classes in art, design, animation, and more. At less than $10 per month, Skillshare is super affordable. But for a limited time, the first 500 people to click the link in the description will get a free two-month trial of Skillshare Premium, which provides unlimited access to everything on the site. They have classes specifically related to overcoming art block, like how to fill a sketchbook from start to finish by Visual Mind, and so many other classes that I'm sure you'll be able to find something to inspire you. So what are you waiting for? Join the more than 7 million creators learning with Skillshare today. With all that being said, let's get into the sketchbook ideas. The first idea that I have for you guys is to use magazine clippings as a background for a drawing. For this page, I cut out a nature scene, and then I drew a girl doing yoga. I think that drawing yoga and dance poses can be really helpful in practicing anatomy. I initially drew this on watercolor paper because I thought that I was going to use watercolors, but I decided to use my alcohol-based markers instead. The lips came out a little bit weird because I didn't wait for the marker that I used for the face to dry completely, but overall I think she turned out okay. I've been trying to make the back of the page go with the page next to it if that makes sense. Since this was next to the labyrinth page that I drew recently, I decided to cut out this random breathing technique and stick it on the page. If you notice, I didn't draw one of the girl's feet, and that's because I put these cacti at the bottom that I cut out from a Michaels ad. Some people got mad at me in one of my other videos for saying cactuses instead of cacti, so I said it right this time, you're welcome. But anyways, here's how the finished page turned out. I probably should have cut the white parts out between her arms and her legs, but other than that I really like this page. The second idea that I have for you guys is to make a real life niche meme. This is really interesting because you have to work with images that you find in magazines instead of being able to quickly find images from Google. I decided to make a How Similar Are We quiz, which wasn't too hard since I had already gone through magazines and cut out things that I like. More ideas that would be easy to make include starter packs, a list of pet peeves, a choose your character slash outfit meme, or a like based meme. There are tons of other ideas if you just search the hashtag niche meme on Instagram. If you don't have magazines, it would also be really fun to draw your own niche meme. Another random idea that I just thought of is that you could make a wish list. Obviously, that's not really a meme. I mean, I guess you could technically make a niche meme about your wish list, but a lot of these images I cut from catalogs, so it might be fun just to cut out things that you want from catalogs. And here's how the finished page turned out. Comment your score down below. The third idea that I have for you guys is to choose one color of images to look for. I bet that a lot of you are surprised that I chose blue for this page instead of purple, and the reason for that is that there really isn't a whole lot of purple in the magazines that I get. A tip that I have for you guys when doing a collage with lots of different images like this is to arrange them all on the page first, and then take a photo of it so that you know where to glue everything. You could just leave it like this, but I decided to doodle all over the page with a sharpie and a Posca pen. This page reminded me of a quote from the movie Girl Interrupted for some reason, so I wrote a portion of it on the page. Then I drew on some random swirls and I traced around a few of the images. I added in even more detail with a Posca paint pen. 
I think drawing with a sharpie on the page is a great way to bring everything together, and I really like how this page turned out. The fourth idea that I came up with is to use magazines to fill in a drawing. We did this in an art class that I took a few years ago, but I never ended up finishing it because this idea can honestly be pretty tedious. The key to doing something like this is to pick colors that are easy to find in magazines. I find that there are usually a lot of blues, greens, tans, red, black, gray, and white, and there isn't a whole lot of purple, yellow, or orange but obviously this will depend on what magazines you're using. I was inspired by an image that I used in the blue collage to draw Cookie Monster. I used yellow acrylic paint in the background. I wanted to use yellow magazine clippings, but the ones that I had were really see-through. Using acrylic paint is another great way to cover the back of your sketchbook pages. I used a bunch of small blue pieces to fill in Cookie Monster's face. I thought that it would make it look like his fur was textured, but it honestly just all blended together and didn't really make a difference. I cut out a black piece for the mouth and some black and white pieces for Cookie Monster's eyes. Since I really didn't feel like cutting out tiny pieces anymore, I just filled his body with a picture of an ocean that I found. I initially planned on making the cookies that he's holding out of magazine clippings, but I was kind of over it at this point, so I just painted them. I used a Posca paint pen to bring it all together and to give the fur some more texture. I really liked the way that this turned out. I think that it really brightened up the image and it helped blend all of the random magazine clippings together. It seemed like no matter how much yellow paint I put on, there was still that random blue spot where the marker bled through, so I used a brown Posca pen to draw a cookie over it. Then I added more cookies in the background to bring everything together. I added chocolate chips to the cookies using a black Posca pen, and here's how the finished page turned out. I really love how bright and fun this page looks, and it was fun to try something different. Another way that you could do this is just by filling in one portion of a drawing, kind of like with the washi tape drawing that I did in a previous video. For this page, I did a really simple drawing of a girl, and I colored in everything except for her hair. I colored her in using a combination of my Winsor Newton Pro markers and my Arteza Everblend markers that I just got. It's best to choose a pattern that doesn't need to be matched up perfectly, like this floral pattern that I got from a Kate Spade ad. I'm not really sure what's up with the girl's face in this picture, but I think that this is a really cool concept and I'm sure that you guys could do something awesome with this idea. When doing something like this, it's always a good idea to make it easier on yourself by using a simple shape to fill in with the magazine clippings. If you don't have old magazines, you could also use scrapbook paper. I get all of my magazines for free online, and where you can get them is always changing, so I'll try to link some of the places that I've gotten them down below. I ended up using some flower cutouts to fill out the rest of the page, and here's how the finished page turned out. On the page next to it, I cut out these instructions that I found in a magazine for how to make things out of recycled magazines. Let me know if you have any other ideas for recycling magazines in the comments. The last idea I have for you guys is to cut out clothing and then draw characters wearing the clothing you cut out. I did this in a sketchbook video about a year ago, but I thought that it would be worth showing you guys again since it's one of my favorite ways to use old magazines. Just ignore the girl that I drew on the right, I didn't like the way that she turned out so I ended up going with the girl on the left instead. Honestly, I think that this works better with like short sleeve shirts or like um, bathing suits because with a dress like this, the arms, they look kind of stiff because that's just how the dress is. I mean, I guess you could kind of cut the arms up and make it into a more dynamic pose, but it's definitely something to keep in mind. I made a background for this drawing by cutting out a background from a magazine and putting the words no turning back because I thought that it sort of went with the scene. I added some cacti stickers that I got from Wish a long time ago at the bottom and here's how the finished page turned out. I must have just been really into plants in this episode. Since I kind of cheated with the last idea, I decided to include a bonus idea in this episode which is to collect a bunch of the same objects. I used black acrylic paint for the background of this page, and then I drew a girl on a separate sheet of paper that's supposed to look like she has a scared expression on her face, although I'm not too sure that I achieved that. Her proportions look a little bit weird because she was supposed to be a young girl. Again, not really sure that turned out like I planned, but at least I tried. And then I colored her in with my Winsor Newton Pro markers and my new Arteza markers, which is what I always color things in with. And as always, any supplies that I use are always linked in the description. I glued this drawing of the girl onto the page, and then I glued on the eyes. 
This is supposed to be like in those scary movies where there's eyes peeking out of the bushes in the dark or something. I don't know, I just thought that it was a cool idea. Here are today's shoutouts. If you want a shout out in my next video, make sure to sign up for Skillshare using the link in the description. Remember that the first 500 people get a free two month trial of Skillshare Premium. So thank you guys so so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up, and as always make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one, and make sure to follow me on Instagram, it is at WellerMegs, and yeah, I love you guys so so much, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!